Despite global outcry, despite call from international community to pay attention to what just happened to the Nigerian election, guess what? Our very president, Muhammadu Buhari, has defended Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu's um, election, saying it, it has come to stay and stay it will be. A lot of persons have said to Buhari that you were a trickster. You never intended. You only went abroad telling them that you want to leave a legacy. You only spoke words that you know you cannot keep true and to, and we are ashamed of you. A lot of persons have their reservations. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, according to INEC, has been declared the winner. And the President Muhammad Buhari says, you know what? I stand with you. Yeah, whatever happens, I'm with you. In respective of what people say, I am with you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Despite global outcry, President Muhammad Buhari defends Tinubu's victory. Despite the global outcry provoked by the conduct of the February 25th presidential election, President Muhammad Buhari has risen in defense of the emergence of his fellow party man. Candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Metinubu, as winner, Buhari expressed short justification of the president-elect, insisting Bola Ahmed Tinubu election stands. If you are grieved, you know the way to the courts. Go and locate the courts. Have your way in court and ensure that you speak out. The president's comments were contained in a piece, but together yesterday by president, presidential spokesman Malam Garuba Shehu as they take away from Buhari's recent visit to Qatar, Doha. Buhari also disclosed that at no time did he consider honoring the 2023 presidential election despite different call from various high quarters. As the case may be of that of June 12th, this is not June 12th, 1993. Presidential election presumed to have been won by late MK Wabiola, which was annulled. The international media and civil society organization, including polls, observers, have been very critical of the February 25th election that produced Tinubu as president-elect. The London-based, the Economist, Financial Times, and the and the Guardian of UK, the New York Times, the Times of London, CNN, one of German largest newspapers, Sweden and Washington Post have all condemned the election in different editorial comments. Foreign elections observers from the U.S. International Republic Institute and the National Democratic Institute, NDI, and the European Union, African Union, ECOWAS have also faulted aspects of the elections, but she will said in the piece that the president used the opportunity of the fifth united nation conference development countries in qatar to draw up support for tinubu speaking to nigerians and diaspora on the ongoing political transition tinubu was quoted Buhari was quoted to have called for support for the incoming government of Tinubu so that Nigeria will continue to be a beacon of hope and prosperity in our continent as an example of African country to, em to emerge as a leading country. In addition to other things, the, this trip, more than others, speaks of courage, political stamina, and statesmanship with which the president has managed the affair of the nation. Shehu Shani said, Buhari stands with Tinubu no matter what. He will not annul the election irrespective of who calls. Tinubu has won. Everybody should take it. If you are not happy, go to court. Wow. Just wow. So these are some of the things that are happening. These are some of the things that have gone on. And it is important we understand exactly, you know, how things are moving forward. A lot of people have called that this election was, you, you heard the list. 
okay, from all over. In fact, on us, an Australia paper said that um, uh, a drug baron has finally become Nigerian's president. That was that was the heading of that um, Australia newspaper. So people have their different reaction in terms of what may have happened with the Nigerian election. However, President Muhammad Buhari stands on the on the fact that he feels very strongly that the election was free and fair. In his own opinion, he feels that whoever is not happy should go to court, you know, and um, he said he has done all he knows to do and that um, this is not 1993 where MK Wabiola won the election and the election was annulled, that anybody who is not happy should go to court. But Harry says he stands with Tinobu. Well, people are approaching the court, that according to your words, those who are not happy are approaching the court to say um, what's, what's going on. Different persons, different nations, have come out to express their concern with regards to this election but the press the outgoing president says he's quite happy with the results so far and how things have been anyone who is unhappy should show his discontentment in court and move forward well this is what is happening this is where we are and it is important we begin to you know, see things and ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place. Nobody should allow the same thing, you know, to hold us down. Every single one of us, okay, must do all that is needed and necessary to bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. Okay, so these are some of the issues that are going on and it is important, okay, you know, um, you know, it is important we understand this and move forward anyway my people now what they happen now despite the call despite all that is going on we are hearing a different matter right now that the elections you know the election that was conducted in nigeria may not have gone well uh, international observers a lot of people are not happy with the outcome they feel differently that the results should have been different but did not quite feel different that um, it feels like despite all that has happened no no sane nigeria we still vote for such a party that they impose themselves on nigerians however where you see or you feel about this whole thing we just have to ensure that we do what is needed right and necessary to change the course of this nation please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification buttons so you can have all our latest news remember you have a voice bye for now